In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the very common Are You Sure alert with the new confirmation dialog in iOS 15. And as you can see from these screens on the iPhone and the iPad, I think it's the much cleaner way to do it because it's not completely taking over the screen. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Here I am in my starter project. I will run through it real quick. What this code does is when I tap this delete button here, it shows the Are You Sure alert, right? So that's what this is. And because we're focused on the confirmation dialog, I wanted to get this all set up kind of the the other way to do things, what we're gonna replace. So here I have my private state variable called is showing alert. This is what we flip to true or false to show and hide the alert. Here I have my button where when I tap it, I switch is showing alert to true. Here's how I decorated my button, just called it delete, gave it the trash can, added some button style to it. And then here's the alert on the button where it says, are you sure? And then it presents the delete button. And then when we tap it, we print item deleted. And then in my preview, you'll notice uh, if I zoom out a bit here, well, I'm running it. So let me zoom out a bit. And I do have my iPad up here too. So let me run the iPad to show you how like abrupt this is. I mean, you saw that on the iPhone, but it's not as bad on the iPhone as it is the iPad. So when you have the iPad, of course, we just have our button here. But imagine the iPad is full with stuff on the screen. There's a lot going on on the screen. So when you tap delete and this alert pops up, it covers everything on the screen. It, again, it overtakes the entire screen. What we're gonna build doesn't overtake the entire screen. Again, it's much cleaner like I've been saying. So this is how we present the alert. Now let's talk about uh, presenting the confirmation dialog, which is new in SwiftUI in iOS 15. So we'll stop running the preview, go back up to the uh, iPhone here and we'll zoom back in so you can see. And the reason I'm doing iPhone and iPad is because it's presented in a different way based on the size class. Okay, so let's start doing this. And it's actually very, very similar. But in order to keep both ways so you can see, compare and contrast, I'm going to uh, comment out the old way and what I need, we'll say at state private var is showing confirmation. So again, it's basically the same concept of creating a state variable that we're gonna flip from true or false to show this. Now you see I have all kinds of errors because I need to do is showing confirmation. Oops, I told you I was gonna comment out the old way. Here we go, we'll just type that here. Is showing confirmation equals true. That's what happens when our button is tapped. Our button label is the same. We're not changing that. We're not changing our styles. Let's comment out this alert because we're not using that. What we're going to use is dot confirmation dialog. And just like alerts, there's a ton of different initializers you can use. So I'll walk through a common one, right? We have the title key, which we're gonna say, are you sure is presented, but we want one that has the visibility and visibility is if you see the words, are you sure the title visibility? And I'll show you that when you see this in action. And that's down here. Actually, to not confuse you, I'll show it to you without the title key, and then we'll add the title key in. I think that'll be uh, helpful. So the title key again is, are you sure? So when you'd wanna use this, it's a confirmation dialogue. It's called that because you wanna confirm yes or no. So that's the situation when you would do this. And as you know, there's a ton of situations in that with an app where you say, are you sure you wanna do this? So very common. And then is presented, just like the alert, is showing confirmation dialog. When that is flipped to true, we'll show this. And then the actions here, I can just basically copy the button that I had up here. So do a command B. So really what I could have done uh, based on like this code is just change alert to confirmation dialog uh, and it would have worked. Okay, I believe I'm missing a curly brace somewhere. Yeah, I forgot to bring down the curly brace uh, from the button. So do a command B, make sure all my errors are gone. Okay, they're gone. So this is gonna now show a confirmation dialog. And like I said, the code is exactly the same, except instead of dot alert, it says dot confirmation dialog, if you don't wanna show the title, but we're gonna show the title in a second. So let me resume my preview to get that working. Now I'll show it to you on the iPhone and then uh, we'll add the title and then I'll show it to you on the iPad. So now when I run the preview on the phone, hit delete, you see the confirmation dialog pops up here, delete or cancel. It doesn't overtake the whole screen. I can still see my content depending on what it is. That's what I like about this. It's very subtle or it's more subtle than the other one. So we'll hit cancel. Now let's go to visibility of the title. You'll notice like when I hit this, I don't see that are you sure? So I wanna show that. So another parameter here, right? We have our title key, we have is presented. And then another parameter is dot title visibility. And then so you can see dot hidden, automatic, visible. We want visible. So now when I tap it, as you can see here, we get, are you sure? And then delete, cancel, right? So delete, that will, you know, delete it. Now let me show you to you on the iPad. So right on the phone, or I shouldn't even say iPhone and iPad, it's really compact versus regular size classes. But here on the regular size class, I'll zoom out a little bit because we don't need to see too much detail. But now when I run it on the iPad, I, I really like the iPad version of this. So when I tap delete, 
it goes into a little popover. Delete, are you sure? And if they're not sure, they can just tap anywhere to get rid of it. So again, the iPad is gonna have so much content going on. Wherever your delete button is, of course ours is like directly in the center of the screen, but you can imagine if it was in the lower right, lower left, whatever, you tap delete and it's just a nice little popover. Again, clean, subtle, doesn't overtake the whole screen, doesn't block everything, and you can just click off there or hit delete to delete. And if you're here learning to improve the user experience of your app, you're probably building great apps, which means you probably need a website to showcase that app, whether it's an iOS developer portfolio or a product page for that app. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you get that iOS developer portfolio or product page up and running very quickly. Now I know we're developers, we can build it ourselves, we want to, but remember, there's an opportunity cost to your time. And I don't know about you, I would rather be building my app, building my product, than trying to build and maintain a website. Believe it or not, it's actually a lot of work. You gotta worry about all the different screen sizes from the iMac to the iPhone to the iPad, all the different browser compatibilities. Like it's a lot to maintain a website. So I recommend letting Squarespace completely take that off your plate so you can focus on your app. They have all kinds of beautiful themes so your website's gonna look great. They handle all the SEO and the analytics for you. So when you're ready to start building that iOS developer portfolio or product page, go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So that's the confirmation dialogue, new in iOS 15. And again, if you're using a lot of alerts for the typical, are you sure message, Highly, highly recommend switching to this confirmation dialogue. It was tailor-made for that purpose. And again, it doesn't overtake the screen. It's a little more subtle, a little more clean looking. Definitely, I think this is the way to go for that situation.